Welcome back to Rise 360. Next up is a triple threat in the entertainment business. She also stars in the new HBO series Barry alongside Bill Hader. Paula Newsom, welcome to Rise 360. Yes. Hi, thank you. Hi, Paula. How Hi. are you? I'm really good. How are you? Great. I, I'm great now that I see Barry is about to be up out. You know, <laughs> it, it aired on Sunday. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's getting great reviews. And it's like a dark comedy, yeah. but you know, you have that, that banter, that funny humor, and that yeah. dry humor sometimes. Yeah. yeah, tell us a little bit more about it in your character. What my character? I'll tell you. Well, Barry is a really dark comedy, as you said. It's about Bill Hader, who was like a a, a hitman who's down on the down and out, right? And <laughs> a he, low budget hitman. <laughs> a low budget hitman, exactly. And he ends up coming to California to perform a hit, and he ends up going into an acting class, oh, right? Because wow. the actor, the guy that he wants to perform a hit on is an actor. And it turns out that Henry Winkler is the teacher, and the hit happens, and uh, I investigate the hit. Oh. And that's what Detective Janice Moss. The fabulous thing about Detective Janice Moss is that later she gets wooed by the one and only Henry Winkler. Uh, you know what, I think it's something, <laughs> something a bit sexy was coming up, because your voice was getting... <laughs> it's true. It's true. So it's the coming. premiere, as Shannon mentioned, was this past Sunday. Yeah. How did you celebrate? I didn't celebrate. I celebrated with my family. We oh. watched. Oh, my nice. family's in Chicago, and we just celebrated. We watched over the FaceTime and. You know, it was a pleasure. A little family affair. Yeah. 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 Now, so are yeah. you big when you're watching? Are you big at like tweeting with fans? Are you like I'm not, not do much of a tweeter. I'm just getting yeah. into the tweet thing. Uh -huh. I'm just my people are like I've only got like two thousand followers. That's and that's since like a couple weeks ago. Oh wow. Oh, that's amazing. New. Some people have two thousand followers after twenty years. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm in. And Twitter ain't even been around in twenty years, so right, that right, says right. a lot. Right. <laughs> oh, we don't now. Why why has it taken you so long? Were you just afraid of it? You didn't have time for it? What? You know, I grew up in theater. Mm -hmm. I grew up in theater. I grew up from, from Chicago. I'm kind of used to kind of talking to people, but so much of the public media, the social mm -hmm. media thing wasn't much my thing, but now I'm changing it up. Okay. okay. Yeah, now, yeah. speaking of people that have changed things up, Tell Bill me. Hader was, of course, from yeah. Saturday Night Live, of yeah. Saturday Night Live yeah. fame. Yeah. What is it like working with such a comical powerhouse? He is, I'll tell you the best thing about Bill, he is a normal person. He's just regular. He's down to earth. He brought his daddy to set. Oh. You know, it was really, it's really wonderful. And the other guy that wrote it as well, Alec Berg, who's mm -hmm. wrote Curb Your Enthusiasm and Seinfeld oh, yes. and all those things. I mean, they are, they are really, they're geniuses. Mm -hmm. They're geniuses. So it's, I don't know. He's he's a very gifted but very grounded man. Love cool. that. So what's the energy yeah. like on set then? Are you guys like joking all the time? It's like yeah. I don't know how to do the dark comedy. <laughs> yeah. Is it like there's a lot no. of funny? Is it? Like, I will tell you the thing that, <laughs> that the most interesting thing about being on the set is that a lot of the people do scripted, scripted stuff, which is basically they make it up. I come from the world where you give me, you say, say this, Paula, and and I'll do that. <laughs> so it makes it a little weird and kind of funny, but but it's really it's. It's like it's like a hub of creativity. Mm -hmm. Just people like coming and we ad lib and stuff. That it's just amazing. It's really oh, amazing. Wow. It's very very well written. I I don't I really can't say enough about it. When they first brought it to me, my um, my people brought it to me, and I was I was kind of amazed because it's not a lot of times as an African American woman where you get to play fully realized people. Mm -hmm. They either think of you as the boss or as a the sex symbol. Character. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. But this woman, this woman is fully realized. She starts off as being the boss, and then she gets wooed by somebody totally unexpected, <laughs> and then I'll, I won't leave you the rest, but oh, some really... Oh, I thought she was going to give us an exclusive! Not going to do it. <laughs> but it's really, I, I will tell you that it's not often that that she, Janice Moss, gets to have this story. And it's, wow. it's a beautiful opportunity. Uh, that's great. Oh, I love yeah. that. And you are such a beautiful woman. You have oh. such a beautiful soul. Because when you're not acting, yes, you're spending time with foster care children yeah. and developing their talents in a unique yeah. way. Yeah. Tell us more. I found out a long time ago, a friend of mine introduced me to somatic experiencing. Mm -hmm. And somatic experiencing is a way to help people recover from trauma. And what a better way to apply this science to kids who may not be aware of stuff that they have experienced. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's nobody around to say, you remember when you were 10, this mm. happened. These people don't remember. So what helps them heal from stuff that they may not remember that their bodies do is called somatic experiencing. Wow. And it's a way to basically, I don't know, to parent people that don't have parents. Mm. Wow. 
house yet. Yeah, don't have yet. that's a good, a good point. So why yeah. are the children in the foster care system so close to your heart? <sighs> you know, I think, I don't know, it's just something that pulls at my heart. I wish I could be more mm -hmm. specific, Shannon, but everybody deserves a parent, right? Mm -hmm. And when you don't have one, that really affects your life and could be traumatic ways. Yeah. And when you're able to just turn and adjust somebody's experience and therefore their, their history and their, their possibility and their future, then the world is their oyster. Wow. And what a better way to affect a human life that way than to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh true. Oh, that's such a warm people. and fuzzy inside. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, thank you, love. And you are a little bit of a linguist, dare I say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what languages do you speak? Parli italiano. Uh -huh. Parli ah, italiano. Si, si. Anche, anche, anche. Anche tu. No, I, I said also you. Okay, you parle français. Je parle français. Uh -huh. Ah, moi je parle. Tu parles français? Oui, je parle, ne parle pas. Oui, oui. <laughs> Pourquoi tu parles français Parce que mon bébé, il est français. Ah bon Alors Ah oui, oui, merci. C'est français que j'ai un dur en accent. Ah, c'est ton accent anglais. Mais on va garder l'anglais pour maintenant. Merci, merci. Et Shannon, vous pouvez comprendre ce que vous dites. On est à deux. On est à deux, donc je parle aussi. Je parle aussi de Kansa Hamida. Kansa Hamida est coréenne. And just like no uh, gamang, see, I can't recall my Vietnamese right now. Vietnamese, I speak oh, is wow. kind of casual, like at the nail shop that in Los Angeles. Right. Right. Exactly. I want to read for you with my acrylic nails. I would go into the, the nail shop and act like I don't know anything but English. Just so you can listen. They, to them. Right. Yeah. they talk about me. I knew they was talking about me. <laughs> see, <laughs> do you have a check of like oh, start talking wow. back to them? Like, no, you know, That's no, amazing. No, no. Why did you decide to develop your knowledge of Asian languages? It wasn't even as much Asian language. Well, quite honestly, Asian languages because at the Korean I go to my acupuncturist is Korean oh, wow. and the nails that girls at my nail shop speak Vietnamese so <laughs> that's why number one but also since as a singer when I did Broadway and stuff like that I think my brain is just wired for sound mm. so languages you know Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty that. impressive. Do you ever get confused of which language you're speaking? Like, just, Sometimes like, to do. You know, yeah. like when you get mad, you just, what's your go-to language when you get upset? English. Like, English. <laughs> okay. And you sometimes are bonnet. That's out of the mouth. But when you, right. when you speak a lot of languages, huh. you're insulting people in a bunch of different right. languages in your head. And, and sometimes you, can, and you end up nice. speaking mm. a sentence that has four different languages in it. Mm. Poof. It's horrible. I <laughs> because I you that. don't even understand How yourself. How many do you speak? Five. Five. You speak five languages? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But my stepfather speaks 13, so that's probably where it came from. Oh yeah. Gosh. Yeah. See, yeah, I didn't call Detroit or Chicago <laughs> right. or I can't Chicago dialect. Right. Well, now That's that cool. I totally feel like an underachiever, I have to ask you also about the good news that we just heard. You just picked up a series regular on another yes. series. Yeah, another Tell us about Suspicion. It's Suspicion is an NBC pilot. It's written by a woman named Jess Goldberg and mm. starring the Fabulous Derek Luke. Mm -hmm. Derek Luke. You remember Derek Luke from yeah. uh, Derek Luke? Oh my gosh. Also, <laughs> another, he's, he's a gifted brother. He is a gifted brother. Wasn't and he in the barbershop? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think so. He was also in what else was, was it? Antoine Fisher, was that? Him? He was Antoine mm. Fisher. Yeah. He was a good on Empire. 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 He was yep. imp he's just, but I will tell you, he is a gifted, mm -hmm. gifted fella. And yeah. it's, it's such a pleasure, because I've been doing this for a very long time. And it's nice to be toe-to-toe -to -toe with a brother who is, who knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Very yeah. true. Okay, so Paula, you've wowed us with your <laughs> exemplary accomplishments from your love of languages <laughs> to your <laughs> absolute <laughs> professionalism on screen. <laughs> what is next for you? I'm going to go back to Boston and finish <laughs> shooting this pilot. Oh, right. Yeah. I can't wait to see. I know it's going to be amazing. Cause, well, we already know Barry's amazing. So yeah, you have to check it out good. Sunday really nights. Good. Make sure you see it. It is a great show. And just okay. to tell you, this Sunday night is kind of amazing because this is when I get wooed by the fabulous. <gasps> oh, Henry is this when it happens? The this secret the man. The, the secret man. It's the beginning of it. It's kind of amazing. Okay. So HBO, Cheers! this Sunday night, you know where to be. Watch Barry. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for success. Thank All right. You. And Arise 360, we'll be right back.